Hi, it's 22nd of September 2018 at 12.30pm. Well, I was thinking the other day about this, um, uh, this, this uh, television advertising aimed at and, uh, making guys out to be really stupid, really dumb. And I was it's sort of I was doing the washing up at the time, and I was I was kind of kind of thinking that's, that tends to be what, what I do and where I go when I I can't work something out. I um, I, I was thinking, what what advantage is it to anybody to paint guys as you know, complete bumbling idiots? I, I don't have a TV. I don't, I've only hearing this second hand, although. One, I did notice one advertisement creep into YouTube a little while ago, and I could see what they meant. Now, she's just bought a new car, and she doesn't want Bob to drive it because he's a bumbling idiot driver. I thought, oh, okay, so that, that's what they're talking about. That's, that's, that's what this is all about, this, you know, the stupid male. And I thought, you know, it's been on my mind, to be honest, and I've been thinking, really, what? purpose does it solve yeah it, it it you could say that it's cultural marxism destroy the the man destroy you know the whole male thing the thing that's bonding us all together and that sort of thing i thought yeah that makes sense that makes sense and then i thought about it i thought hang on a bit I, i'm not saying that's wrong but i'm also i thought Maybe the advertisements aren't wrong either. Maybe maybe they aren't act well, they're actors. But maybe that's a reflection of how men in marriage really are. You know, I can tell you, after thirty years of marriage, I was a bumbling mess. That's just being plain, flat out and honest. I was just a, I wouldn't have been able to do 25% of what I can do today. I've, you know, it may look like it's, it's easy, I'm just doing a video and what have you. There's really a lot of work involved in this. And I don't even script it or anything else like that. But there's the thinking about it, there's setting up, there's the technical side of it. Yeah, you know, there's responding to comments and something. I just could not have done that five years ago. I was a gibbering mess. Just like the guy that could barely drive the car anymore. And that's the reality is what marriage is doing to men. And this is why I think, in the end, you know, there's all sorts of you know, excuses for why men go MGTOW. And look, if you've never been married, maybe you've just seen others. But, but for men who have been married and been in the situation, it makes a lot of sense to us. It, it, it's... We just can't live like that. We just can't. We, it, it's too difficult to produce. Yeah, it's all right if you're not doing anything. You know, if if you're just wealthy or you've just got a really dumbass easy job, yeah, where you you don't have to think much. Yeah, it might be a bit of a giggle. Yeah, but but if you're productive and and having to think and and be very sensitive to, you know, changes and what's happening and wonder why this is happening or that's happening or, you know, what have I got to do here and, and how do I save money there? And you've got this complexity of stuff. You you probably don't need a marriage. You're probably much better out of a marriage, much better out of a relationship. It has nothing to do with how we feel about women. It's just, it's not a, it's just, it's not something that suits your life. As I said, depends what level you are and what you know what you can handle and and, and your makeup, I guess. But it's it's um, yeah for a lot of guys, not for all guys. I'm saying it's for all, but for a lot of guys, yeah, marriage, forget it. And, and it's, it's but but rather than look at it as being portrayed as something, you know, that it's 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 putting men down. Now, it, guys in marriage, but it's probably an accurate description of them. You know, they're they're they actually. Uh, that's how that's how it becomes. You know, it's, it's not easy to admit. That's where I got to. I was just a total wreck, total total gibbering mess. And typically, what happens after this, I think, what happens is, you know, guys go to psychologists, get on antidepressants, and that sort of thing, and it only makes them worse. You know, I, I weathered the storm, got out of it. 
thankful to say I haven't got any, I'm not on any tablets, I didn't see any psychologists, I didn't do any counselling. Yeah, but I mean, I look back at it and I, I can look at it now and think, yeah, well, and can be honest about it and think, yeah, I was there. That's what I, that was what was happening to me. Now, I think I think there are two reasons for it, two two underlying reasons. The first one is the constant beratement. I mean, I don't think there's any any doubt about that. You know, you you marry a woman or you, you form a relationship with a woman when she's younger. She's sweet and nice. She's got a nice smile. She's got all the dreams. You know, she wants a certain thing. And so, you know, she zips a lip and doesn't show you her true colours. You're young, ambitious, wanting to do things and, and what have you. And you get together and you don't realise, you don't know. You don't have a, a lifetime of experience when you're young. You know, you're just going into it. But... Slowly, slowly it changes. And the longer you stay in the relationship, the worse it becomes. And what starts off probably, I don't know how it starts off, but in the end, it just becomes being screamed at. That's my experience. Now, you can take anybody, take, take a situation, you know, in, in a business or something, you know, in a company, and someone is screaming at someone the whole time. How well do you think they're actually going to perform? You know, and, and yes, you could argue, well, if they're no good, they should leave, yeah, which is what you do. But you know, how do you be good at marriage, in all honesty? How do you be good at relationships, you know, where everybody is rude to one another and you just say whatever? You know, what, what happened in my relationship is that they would never, ever treat, they would never be seen in, in open life, in, in front of anybody else behaving like that. Yeah, it's not like my neighbours, for example, they don't care. That's what they're like. They, they don't care the whole world seals. Both of them. But in my case, no, it, it was only ever behind closed doors. That's, you know, the, the real them didn't come out. They wanted to hide it from the world. And it was all fake smiles and nice, you know, hi. But at home, in, in the privacy of their own, no, t entirely different. Entirely different. So one of the reasons that I think drives men crazy and stupid is because they don't know how to handle it. They really don't know what to do. You know, it used to be you could, you know, you'd smack a woman or something, I suppose, a couple of hundred years ago. I mean, that's no longer an option. And so she can really just sit there and just pour it all out. Your hands are tied. You know, and you can do, yeah, you can, you know, put on a firm face or something. doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming at you, coming at you, coming at you, coming at you. They just don't care. Until you just, you just don't know what to do. So you, you, you're left in this, this perpetual state the whole time of not knowing what to do. How do I deal with this? How do I do? You know, I'm failing at this. I can't, I don't know what to do. I don't, I'm failing, I'm failing, I'm failing. So what happens to a brain that keeps saying, I'm failing, I'm failing, I'm failing, I'm failing. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What sort of, you know, are they going to be positive, up, you know, they uh, No, they're just going to get worn down to the point where, oh, who knows? And they become a bumbling idiot. That brain, you can turn it into mush. I build up brains. I like building up brains. I like, you know, supporting people and building them up. That's me. Okay. But... This mind, this mind that I'm talking about, no, it wants to destroy, it wants to bring down, it wants to belittle, it wants to, it wants to do all of those things to make you a gibbering, jabbering mess. That's the aim, that's the aim of that brain against this brain that wants to, you know, empower people, lift people up and, 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 that, and, and do the right, you know, sort of help people, that sort of thing. Which leads me to the second <clears throat> The second thing, and I was lucky enough to get a comment this morning from somebody <clears throat> who said, uh, I'm paraphrasing here, but it was something along the lines of, oh, you magtows are so dumb. That's, you know, uh, you're just so easy to trick. I corrected the comment by saying no, it's MGTOW, not MGTOWs. But that's beside the point. But I thought, perfect. Couldn't be better. There is a God after all. Yeah, you MGTOW are so stupid, you know, so easy to trick. I found the same attitude coming out of the Philippines, actually. 
it was that sort of big smile, a grin, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you you do things to help, or you know to. And it was, and then they they'd obviously tricked you. <laughs> and, and you sat there just thinking, oh my god. And I, I wasn't ask. It's not like I was asking for sex or anything. You've tricked me. You clever, clever person, you. And and this is how us MGTOWs are looking at both males and females. Any of these tricky people that, that have tricked us. And you know, we're we're the fools apparently. Because yeah, if you, yeah, we're the fools for trusting them. That's really what it boils down to. We were silly to trust them. Now, we are bad people because we don't trust them. We're doing the wrong thing. I mean, it, it, it's just... <laughs> so, what's happening though, and what they don't realise, is that when they were tricking us, it's, it's a sort of a bemusing feeling. It's like, you know, your brain trusts something. It wants to believe you're married to somebody. You're trying to create an environment or you want a certain environment, but they tricked you. Yeah, they fooled you. They fooled your brain, yeah. It's like being tricked over and over again. You sort of end up with this dumb look on your face like, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> you know, imagine you're on stage, so, you know, a, a, a um, magician gets you up there and... You know, and just does trick on you after trick. On. What's what's your face going to look like? Yeah, it's going to look very similar to what they put on the TV and say, "Yeah, this is your modern day man." Yeah, it's the same thing. It's like <clears throat> it's really like the magician is just doing all these little tricks. So first you were you know, you've been bashed and beaten and that sort of thing. Then you're just being tricked after trick after trick after trick until you look like a complete idiot to yourself. If nobody else, but to yourself inside, you just think I'm a, I'm a complete fool. I'm just, you know, I'm really, I'm at the point. You get to the point where thinking, I don't trust these people at all. Not one little bit anymore. And, and I don't care anymore. <laughs> That's it. I just don't trust it. I was at a supermarket yesterday and I, I just found myself after this Kavanaugh thing, there was a woman getting eggs. And she had a, you know, a trolley up next to you. I just found I stopped two metres away. I, um, I, I just, and she, she, I could sense she was like, it was like a zone. <laughs> it's like, don't go there. Yeah, like a repulsion, like two magnets. I thought, she could say anything to me. She could trick me. She looked like she was tricky. She could, so she could, you know, she could have dropped those eggs and blamed me. I say, or, or maybe she could have said she he threw those drink, those eggs at me. I mean, how <laughs> what would I say? <laughs> so I figure it's just better. No, no, no. Stay a couple of meters away. Keep well back. So I, I now I, <laughs> I've gone past. I don't look at people. Don't look at women anymore. Actually, I don't look at males either. I just you know, and so I've done. I'm gone there. I don't talk to them now. I don't go near them. Yeah, it's and it's just you know if if. If they can actually get the newspapers to to say to to, to and, and get a pat a guy at school, he's twenty five, you're fifteen years later or whatever, they're me doing him. If they can do that, I mean they can do anything, and and trick you. Actually, just I mean it's just you could you can turn and twist anything and be tricky. And if you've got if you've got the weight of the law on your side, you're stuffed. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. So really, all what what I'm trying to say is what I've had to do is just break away from it. That I can't see any other answer. You know, it, it's um, it's uh, you know, it, it's it's at the spirit. At, at the end of the day, it's the spirit behind a person. You know, if they if they don't mean you well. If they're out to get you, they will do anything. And they will have all these comrades that will support them. So the only answer is stay well clear of them. Because it's a minefield and it's dangerous. I mean, you could end up in jail like that. You're buying eggs next thing, you're being arrested. 
<laughs> so I just figured, no, 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 just... And, and, and spend as little time in real as possible. It's funny because after, after I did that with the woman with the eggs, I looked around and I was surprised. It's just like a world of women. There's some, somebody on the, on the channel the other day was saying in Canada, you just see great hordes of women walking around the streets, going to the bars of, of an evening. And I thought, well, here in Australia, it's the same. It, it just seems that's all I'm seeing. Oh, there are men there, but oh, by far the, the greatest proportion. A winner. And it used to be sort of equal, even Stevens. Yeah, but, but now it's just mostly women who shop. Uh, it's like it's like dodging cars. Oh, don't go near one. <laughs> Watch out for that. <laughs> Shit. And I, and it's, I, don't, I try, try not to make it obvious, but they start, I think they're starting to notice. Yep, just don't go near them. <laughs> oh, it'll be 2030 and I'll get this note. You know, you spoke to a woman once, and, you know, were you after sex? <laughs> I mean, well, anyway, I'm just I'm just going on here. Yeah, but but that's what happened. So maybe look at it as you know the, the TV advertising as um, oh it, it's just a, it's actually a mirror of what's happening to married men. That, that's what it's like inside a marriage. Yeah, it just turns you into a complete twit. Yeah. Anyway, good talking to you, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.